That's some good stats, ain't it? I'm, I'm just reading some of his Hall of Fame stats. I, I'm just trying to read out his stats. I mean, I mean, now, now, you mean to tell me that from the time Adam fell to the flood, to the flood, that's a long time. That's a long time. <laughs> Nobody for six over six. I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it for one thousand. Six hundred years. Wow. Nobody. Nobody. But Enoch walked with God. Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's your boy. Yes, sir. Can, can I drop something right here? I'm not even to my points. I'm trying to make it there. I'm, watch this. Don't be shocked if you are the only one in your house walking with. That's I'm going to I'm I'm really, y'all making me do this. Come on, man. Just, just, <laughs> just, watch this. Don't even be shy. What? If no one walked with God from the time of the fall to the flood, don't be shy if you're the only one walking with God in your relationship. On God's green earth, from the time Adam fell to the time that God told Noah, build an ark, walk with him during their time. Nobody. Wow. Nobody. I don't know where y'all, what's wrong with y'all this morning, but that was a bomb to me. When I, when, when I discovered that, I was like, wow, that I need to stop tripping. <laughs> that's my boy. I, I, that, 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 that's why, that's why I, I, I became... I became an official Hall of Faith fan of Enoch. Yes, sir. All right. Do I have a witness here? Yes, sir. No one walked with him. No one walked with God from the time Adam fell in the garden to the time of the flood. Watch this. He was the only one, here it is, who did not walk with God for a while and then stop. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Okay. Captain yeah, that's my boy. Yes, sir. Yeah. He did not attempt to walk alone, mm -hmm. okay. as many of us have chosen to do. Right, right, right. We we rather be entrepreneurs. That's what we think is going to go down. And, and not that being an entrepreneur is wrong, but but, but that, that that's that's not going to be judged at the judgment seat. Yes, sir. Do I have a witness here? Amen, amen. God was his companion, and he was God's companion. They ran together. God and Enoch had a heart for each other. So much so that, watch this, the first five chapters of Genesis, here's, I'm just trying to break it down for you more in stats. The first five chapters of Genesis, watch this, the first five chapters, Doc, God had nobody to walk with. Oh, mm -hmm. my God. Wow. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> and then you wonder that by the time we get to 11 and 5, Hebrews 11 and 5, I'm trying to connect stuff for y'all. Yes, yeah. sir. The text says that God translated him. 
Right. Come on now. In other words, he never died a physical death. Right, 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 right. You ready to show y'all something? God took him. Took him. Now, it, it seems to me that if no one walked with God the first five chapters of Genesis, God would be pretty lonely. Uh huh. You just missed that. Uh huh. He was lonely. And guess what? He said, I'm going to bring a boy. To be, come here, man. He said, he said, let me just go ahead and bring the boy back with me. He the only one. Watch this. Isn't it amazing that here's the point? Here's the point. When you walk with someone, you just want to be with them all the time. And that's what theologians try to tell us is that, oh God, he just wanted to be with Enoch all the time. And so, because Enoch walked with him and God walked with Enoch, he translated or he took Enoch to heaven because God enjoyed Enoch's company. And he did not want a universe between him and Enoch. He did not want a green earth between him and Enoch. And so he did not allow Enoch to die. Watch this. But rather, he took Enoch while he was physically alive. And to this day, they can't find his grave. Why? Because there is no grave to be found. I know I'm not at my clothes yet, but can I let me tell you this? There are benefits with walking with God. There are benefits with walking with God, and all Enoch experienced is a benefit for walking with God. Watch this, when nobody else would. to heaven because theologians say God missed him. I don't know about you, but does God miss you? Do I have a witness here? Maybe you've been too busy to walk with God. Maybe you've been too preoccupied. Maybe you've been too caught up into your own self. Maybe you're too caught up in your marriage. Maybe you're too caught up in your business. Maybe you're too caught up. Y'all better watch me here. So busy that even says that he translated him and the testimony is this Enoch pleased him and he pleased him because he walked with him really at this point I didn't know whether to be happy or sad but it dawned on me that even God gets lonely for our that he desires such communion, such a fellowship in a busy world. Yes, sir. Yet even in a technological society. Well, we don't have to have connectivity in order, uh, in order to have communion with each other. I, I can email you and never have communion with you. Amen. I, I can text you and never have and never have fellowship with you. But but isn't it amazing that even in a technological society, come on now, that no matter how advanced we become on this planet. Yeah. Yeah. God still desires 
disconnectivity. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And he desires communion. He desires communicate. Y'all better watch me there. He desires that we confabulate, that we talk with him, that we chat with him. That, that he desires that. Why? Because we are created in his image and just as we desire to walk with our children and we desire our husbands and wives to walk with us, God is looking down on us and saying, is, 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 is it that you're so far advanced uh -huh. that you have forgotten that maybe I'm lonely? And I want to walk. I don't want you to walk with me only when you get in trouble. Don't walk with me because you need some bills paid. Don't walk with me because. Uh, you are about to receive a sentence. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Come on, hit me here, somebody. Uh -huh. but, 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 but can you spend the lifetime that he has given you to genuinely walk with him with nobody else around you? Nobody else. Your husband ain't interested. Your children ain't interested. Folk on your job ain't interested. Mm -hmm. People around you stopping and starting walking with God. Let me tell you this. Don't let that affect your walk. Come on now. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. That's why Chris, he's my boy. I, I'm sorry. I, that, I, I'm, that's, I'm a fan of Enoch. Now. I'm a fan of Enoch. That, that was an amazing feat, man. That, you know, that was amazing. That's an amazing feat, man. That's I mean, shoot. To be the only one walking with the Lord. <laughs> Between the fall and the flood. Woo! That's a long You would think that society would have an influence on him. Right. Yeah. Uh-huh. For 300 years, this man walked with the Lord. Tops, we may live to be 70, maybe. Watch this. But for 300 years, he walked. Oh, I say we gave Jesus a hand clap this morning. I think we're gonna give Enoch. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. I mean, that's good. I mean, that's good. I mean, some of us, some of us need a whole bunch of other people around us in order to walk with God. We can't do it by ourselves. We, we, we subject us. We subject. We are subjected to peer pressure too fast. And so we, but so I, I, I just. I commend thee. So then watch this. I know said watch this. So watch this. Go to Genesis real quick. Go back to Genesis 5. I'm going to show you something. Verse 22. Watch this. <laughs> and I know I'm not going to finish this message.